sickness cover versus ACC, there is obviously an imbalance there. Yes, there is, and that's that's sort of changed a little bit in more more recent times. I think in order to understand that properly, we need to understand what's defined by an accident. And in general terms, and there are exceptions to this, but in general terms, an accident is where there is a specific incident on a specific day at a specific time that's caused a specific injury directly. That's an accident. Fall over, break a leg, it's an accident. ACC take both uh, responsibility or liability for the medical procedures around that, and there are a little bit of exceptions to that, as you well as is really <laughs> exceptions <laughs> to is, um, as well as a, a, a loss of income, a, a compensation. One of the reasons that ACC started in the first place was because it's a no blame system. It means that people can't sue other people who may be responsible for that injury because it is a specific incident, uh, if that makes sense. Now, if it falls outside of that, it's illness. And illness is not in any way uh, the responsibility of, of ACC or the Accident Compensation Corporation, uh, both in terms of, of the, the, the medical procedures that may need to be done uh, or um, the loss of income as a result of, of, of that ailment, if that makes sense. Can you be a bit specific? Barbara Lee, about some of the sicknesses that are covered? Um, well, ACC doesn't co cover any sicknesses. It's mm. accident based only. So, to have a good contract around an illness and an injury, you want something that's going to pick up issues like uh, mental health. Uh, that's stress, mental health? Yes, stress, anxiety, depression. That's a big risk for somebody that's particularly uh, self employed people. Um, so, my, my instant reaction was surprise because, you know, you think of a sickness being heart. Uh, lungs, brain tumour, whatever, but... Depression. Anything that you go to the doctor for and the doctor says, look, you know, you can't work for whatever reason, that's covered in your illness and injury contract. Because depression does stop people working. It sure does. It can have a big effect on their ability to work. And that's under your sickness and, and accident. That's right. So we have uh, covers that can pay people every month until they're able to go back to work. There's many types of covers on there. Mm. Um, and um, it's just important that they're matched up with the person uh, for the occupation for their individual needs. Mm -hmm.